When you're talking about the difference in the glass and the bottle between wines from cool climates and warm climates, let's consider three factors. The first of which will be you know, the perfume, the intensity and the complexity of, of, of the young wine characteristics. And we find that in cooler climate wines, where grapes are ripening perhaps in late summer and into autumn, that cooler weather means that the grapes are able to retain more of those really high-toned, aromatic, floral and fruit-driven qualities that makes you know, the cool climate wines so pristine and intense. Whereas the warmer climate wines are ripening in the heat of summer, in hotter days, so they, they don't have those really high-toned aroma characteristics but make up for it perhaps with richness, roundness and more substantial palate structures which contrast to the more elegant, fine, cool climate wine structures. The third thing really then is the level of natural acidity. Because they're ripening later in the season, the cooler climate wines retain this wonderful, tight, fresh level of natural acidity that really enhances and punctuates their more elegant and, and supple uh, palate structure. Whereas we typically find that warmer climate wines, perhaps with that richer expression of fruit and, and maybe higher levels of alcohol, tend to finish with a softer acidity. So there's a real contrast between the two. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide which you prefer and when. It's possible and indeed probable that the more you learn about wine, you'll like both, but perhaps on different occasions with different meals. <laughs>